Well, hello everyone and welcome yourselves back to Manor Lords. Oh my god, I am obsessed with this game. I could literally sit, first time in many years where I could sit and play for 12 hours straight, let me tell you that. It is just incredible. Music, ambiance, feel, everything's just good. Hope you're all well though guys, welcome yourselves back on in. What I'm doing is, <laughs> can't find a storehouse for excess weapon storage. Sorry about that. We did, just so you guys know, we started crafting up Fletchers. We've got a good little army on the go now, and we've started to get Archer in when we can. So we're going to be building these out amongst these. Um, we dealt with our first raid, and we are officially two years deep. So the plan is to get more people into the large storehouse when we get more families moving in. I'm just going to check in who, who we've got working where. A lot of it is on farming at the moment. We're going to be able to unassign them once that goes in, and then we'll get them harvesting soon as well. Mostly, though, it is to do with woodworking and tree planting. Now, what I could do is take someone out of tree planting. We want to focus on getting all these houses up and ready, though. We're obviously upgrading some as well. We're getting some more factories in. But we got these three in, in uh, these two, sorry, in, in the last one. And there we go. The flax field is being sown now. I think we need more to get it done quickly. Or the ox thing. At the moment, though, we're just storing in wheat in here. I could turn this windmill on and make flour straight away. Again, we don't have people to do that at the moment. And they're not happy on firewood still, like they have been for a little while in here. So we need to get that one going. Approval will fall if we don't sort it out. So if I hover over fuel, yeah, not, not distributing quick enough. What we could do is up another person into here, but we won't have anyone over here. So what I think what we'll do is do that. Let's try and get that going. So the families are always three large. So it's always a wife, a husband, and a son. And a lot of them... You need more transporting, really. So we need to make sure we're transporting over here. That should fix those issues over there. But at the same time, it means we don't have any population for anything. We could slow down on the iron slabs, to be fair. I think that might be one we pause. Mining pit, because we've paused that, we can also pause the mining pit. I might get a surplus of that going, actually. We'll keep that coming at the moment. That gives us two over here. And then once this is in, it looks like they've sown that and it is started to grow our first bit of flax as well. So we're going to get some clothing in this year as well, which is awesome. And then what I'm going to do is mill that into flour. So I'm going to go and get ahead and get a bit of flour. I don't know how much you get from that. And then we're going to build the bakery extension when we can unlock it. But at the moment, it takes tier three. So we need a tavern and the church to level up. And the church to level up requires clay, which is easy enough. We can get that built. Well, we can get it built and ready. So clay furnace converts clay to clay tiles. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure whether you need to put, yeah, clay. You need to get a, a thingy on top of it. So I think that's okay. We'll pop that in the trees and I'm going to get a road coming through here all the way up. We'll attach that in, no problem. We've definitely built something really, really cool here though. <laughs> I love it, man. How's the milling going over here? There we go. We have officially got 36 flour. So we can turn that off again now. We're going to continue to get things upgraded. I'm still trying to consider what we want to do. Now, kind of want to get my first horse in as well. All right, we do have the communal oven though. So let's go ahead and pop one in there. We'll cook up a bit of bread, get the month's worth of food done, and then we'll, we'll flick that off as well. I like that you have to actually prioritize things at the moment. It's not just a click and leave. I like that. It requires a bit more management skill, which... To be honest, I love. So let me just check in on these guys. So going home and waiting. So with these then, we can go ahead and pause the farmhouse now. So no harvesting needs to be done. We have plenty of people to work now. And we can bump these numbers up. And to be honest, a lot of it's going to be down to building stuff here anyway. So at the moment, we've got four houses spare still. One, two, three, four. So we're fine. We're going to work on upgrades. We're just looking here, we got 23 spears in stock, 38 large shields. Now, the problem is I disbanded this. Look at this. We have four archers in now. If we split them out, they the, the amount of people try and level out across them. So you should try and fill one, one thingy retinue of it, really. But I quite like the idea of a mix of troops as well. I'm going to continue to upgrade any that I can as well. And maybe getting in some more eggs over here. We'll do that before we go ahead and get an upgrade here as well. I have a little farming row off the back of those as well but plenty of levers so we don't need to worry about that new family is in as well this is what we can ask for here let's see if the communal oven is doing its thing i was just going over to grab them so we're going to need the store 
Maybe the flower coming in over here. Maybe the communal oven should have been here, but that's okay. Bit of travel time. I think I should be good to up this to very high and we'll be able to start mining clay early on, which is good. Now, our tax office is now in. I'll be honest, doesn't do too much. What do we have? Percentage surplus food that is given to the church in return for influence. Definitely not. Land tax. Predicted approval loss minus six. So we'll take 10%. Right? Oh, three. Let's do 5% tax. So although it says you can't do it, you can actually tax. So we should start to see. Don't know whether it comes into my treasury. There we go. You, your personal money use, usually collected from taxes can be for diplomacy, hiring retinue and mercenaries. So retinue, we can get bigger through this. So we can get garrison tower. And then we can get up to retinue size of 24, which I think is going to be a good idea. All right, this allows us to expand living space and upgrade. So that'll class as another house as well. So we can get those all working on something. How are we doing, guys? Oh, yes, here we go. The baker. Now, I'm, what, what you need to remember, by the way, guys, as well, the food you show up here is only what you have in store, pretty much. So if I hover over, it's zero. But if we look at this food store, it has two pieces of bread in. There's no real way at the moment to differentiate why or what it has in it. Same with these. You can see the shoes and stuff in here, which is pretty good. So, yeah, you can hover over there. We've got a total of three in here, so that's good to know. That's fine, then. Oh, there we go. Clay mining pit is now in place. So let's go ahead and get one in there. What I might go ahead and do is grab one of these. I might grab my retinue and one thingy. And we'll go fight these guys. We'll go get rid of this bandit camp and we'll earn a bit more a bit more gold and influence from it. Let's check in on our enemy here. Okay, so we're going to be building away from him to start. So I might claim this with influence. And then start to build that out. Now, we'll need to set up a separate settler on this one. Now, that's probably not the best for berries and stuff, actually. That stone deposit looks 680. We might need to consider that one. We also want to try and lock him in here, though. So this might be the play. Yeah, there's extra food and stuff relatively close here. So we might want to claim that one. I'm going to press claim towards this here. Not sure what happens. I'll be honest with you, but we'll see. And I should go in and visit him, really, on his lands. I'm guessing when we go in, we'll see what he's built up over here. All right, they are in now. I'm not going to have any running, and you guys are going to go deal with this. So there's a bit of a hill again here, so what we're going to try and do is figure out where we want to set up. I think we'll just go straight in for the fight here. We should be way stronger. Yeah, it just takes a little time to claim it. That's cool. I'm just going to line them up here. They should come and attack when we get a little bit closer. There we go. Let's get these guys actually back here. I want them to fight together. Come on. Spearman. So slow. Region claimed. Beautiful. We now own Goldhoff. Come on then, you. Let's go. We fight for honor. Let's take them out. Shouldn't have too many problems here. They weren't very strong. I think we're okay. Yep, we're already killing them. Perfect. I'll get, send my retinue out and send the other guys back so we can keep production going really well. There we go. We'll speed through as they have been broken right now. Well done. So, I'm going to use these guys to go grab my loot. And then these guys are going to send home. Well done. Another bandit camp cleared. I'm going to try and keep them clear as much as possible anyway. And then back at home, let's see where we're at. So planks are getting a little bit low. Timber we're keeping up on. So we may need to grab some more of that in. It's based on the amount of stuff we're making at the moment. And we really need to get more people in. We're on 93. I'd like to hit about 120 by the end of this episode. That should be should be doable. We're going to get a batch of barley on the go on that second one over there as well. So when we get into it, I will... I'm just going to unpause this, put a, sac a third one in, and then pause it again. So when we need it, when we turn on the farm, three families go and, go and farm and get that smashed out. It's always good. So 27, but we've got 31. Okay, this one we did upgrade, right? And there we go. Let's go grab that. This belongs to my treasury now, 225. So we've almost got enough to settle. Unfortunately, we need another bandit camp. Bring them back and get them rested up. All right, deep into May, though. Food and fuel is holding on. I think what we'll do is try and grab these berries like crazy during this season. 
I'm tempted to even put a herb garden on there. I'm not really sure. But we've got enough to do it. And we don't need the spare builders knocking about either. I think it's time to get the granary going as well. We'll get that one upgraded. Get all this food moved over. We should have. Yeah, food has gone really, really low. But it's it's in the marketplace at the moment. So we should see bread and stuff going out. Have you guys actually made any? like to see it say basically you've made some. There it is. Still got 23 flour. So the flour is coming in. They're just they're making it slowly. Still got eight flour. So yeah, we've knocked up quite a bit then to keep us going. Oh, they have moved the flour into the granary, which is good. All right, how are we looking on clay then? So we officially have 27 clay. So we're going to need to smelt that clay up. We don't want a clay furnace. Now, where do we want the clay furnace? This definitely needs to come into the industrial zone. Kind of makes sense over here. Although there's a nice slot for it right here as well. I want to tuck it in as much as we can. I feel like there works really well. Next to the large storehouse, we'll get the clay furnace in. Right, all units are home, so we can get back to work and smashing that out as well. Let's take a little look around. I'll go through making sure these guys are upgraded slowly as well, as and when. But for now, we'll keep going. It's all about focusing getting this church upgraded, and then it's just booze. So I think we're probably another year away. The only other thing is to check trading. So let's have a look. We could set up commodities. What do we have? Ale. There we go. 96 it costs. We're on 85. Hello, new family. Yeah, I don't think that taxation's working, guys. I'm going to get rid of this because it's affecting us right now. So we'll, we'll, we'll get rid of that because I'm not seeing it go up. Would have been nice to get that in. It might just be because it's such a small percentage, but I don't know. I'll leave it for now. I think we've cleared all the bodies now as well. So what we want to do is turn this one off. Really, you want to assign loads of people to it and then pause it. And look at that. By leaving it fallow, it does actually spread. There's no way. Hold on. Let me check flax. Barley. No. Hold on. we got to wait. I was just talking rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> We can get a little bit in anyway, though, soon. I think, uh, yeah, next year we're going to have full beer production. That's perfect. I might even do the same in here. I might put a crop rotation on. I have another wheat field. There's going to be a lot of farming that goes on, though. We need to get to the tier three, really. So I think taxation and import of, import of booze might be the way to do it. So if we import some, let's see how much it is after we've got it. So trade. Um, let's go. What is it? We could just import straight barley. I'm going to do it. I'm going to establish the barley trade route and then we're going to import. I'm not sure what to do with the horses though. Don't want to order one just yet, but I think that's sensible. And then I should be able to start brewing it up in the back gardens. So we're going to need a malt house, aren't we? Where do we want the malt house? This this ne this needs to be... It makes sense to have... We need to move that granary. I think I'm going to start moving it this way. I'm going to pop the malt house over here clear that little area and i think once that's upgraded i'm gonna move it a little bit more central i think it makes sense i could even pop it over here and then we can bring a new road out i think it makes sense to have a little back alley coming through here and then something coming off this way into the fields and i'm also going to snap this in so it goes around the uh thingy like that yes i like it how are we doing here? So this clay deposit is going to give us 186. The one we're taking over has another 165, so that's not too bad. Worth us seeing what he's all about soon, isn't it? I don't know how quick you can take over, though. By the way, guys, once I've played through it once, I probably will be going straight into a harder difficulty one as well. Once I get all the mechanics down and stuff. I, I'm really, really, really just enjoying chilling in this game. It's just something else, isn't it? All right, look at this. So we have a silly amount of large shields, small shields, and spears right now. So I'm trying to think, do we pause that up? I think we do. So we pause. I don't know what the wooden parts are used for yet. We could always sell them, though. Let's pause the joiner shop now. And let's also change this to sidearms. And we'll start producing a few of them. That should give us a nice surplus of planks coming in. And then as far as these next burgage plots go, I am going to be upgrading them once we've got the requirements met. So these all have requirements met. And I'm going to get the expanded living space on these where I can as well. And upgraded as well. 
Let's get this town booming. One clay furnace on the way. I think they've completed it. Well done. Okay, clay furnace is done. So, I think we'll get one person in here and we'll start the smelting. And we're going to say fuel, re fuel reserves one to make sure it's always got it in. Then we should be okay. How are we looking in here? Still three people. Did we get a bunch of iron ore now? Still got some. We're doing okay. Bloomery's still off. Do I turn off this as well and ramp up food? think we're going to need to. So with all the new people coming in, let's turn off the mining pit. We don't need any iron for a minute. Did you guys replenish yet? No. Berries though, on the other hand, can get more in. Large granary is now done too. So I think this definitely only ever needs one person in. There doesn't seem to be a massive amount. They seem to transfer straight from the food places anyway. But I do want to get this one. I'm not sure you can relocate. Oh, you can't relocate the granaries. Okay. Interesting. All right. I'm going to get a third one in the woodcutter's lodge now to try and satisfy these needs. I think we're okay public order wise, but it'd be nice to get this back up. Uh, that taxation should be gone this month as well. And then population should increase. All right. I think it's time to try and make us a little bit more efficient here. I don't think I'll be popping anything in there anyway. I want to make it a little bit more efficient for travel. So let's try and bring a road along these guys here. I'm actually going to put in a separate point there and do that. And then we can fill in that part with housing as well. I should see a little bit of better travel times because it is very dependent on that. Let's see what's going on in here. All right, firewood should be in problem soon. Food is now going back up as well, which is good. I think we're going to have to switch these on soon though. We're going to have a little bit of flax and a little bit of wheat taking its time. So one thing I want to point out is when you zoom out on the world map, look how it actually carves what you've built into the world map as well. It's incredible. You can see every little detail. <laughs> Crazy. You can really see how built up you are on the world map as well. So, so good. I'm hoping some kind of modding comes for it and people build really, really cool maps out as well. I know this, I'm thinking years down the line, but I think... Oh, the opportunity. The opportunity. Right, so just a quick update. All the the uh, buildings with July right now, all the buildings that we can upgrade, we are getting done. We're just struggling on fuel at the moment. Now, I could go ahead and get another the one where it comes in, but if we look here, we're looking pretty good. It's nice that you can hover over that and you'll see, actually. So that barley did come in. So if we get some kind of brewery set up, we need the malt house, don't we? Which obviously is almost done. I think once this is completed, I'll go ahead and get in the... Uh, we'll see if we can mix that up and start to get a bit of beer in. We may well be able to get the upgrade done then. So church is getting pretty close. We just need planks. Obviously, again, we're doing a lot of upgrading. We need to slow down on this stuff. As you can see, though, we have 18 bowmen now as well. And there's the malt house. So let's see what we want to do. I want to start crushing that up so we can open our own brewery. I think clay is definitely something we can pause again now. So if I go in, we've actually got 16 clay there. And clay furnace, we're now up to... Which one does that come under? This one. 18 roof tiles. So how much does it need for the upgrade? 10. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this one now as well. This is going to give us a lot of people. So I'm going to pop someone in the malt house. And then hopefully we can get some planks in to do the other work. So I'm going to go into the saw pit here. And just see. Get construction reserve in as well. So it's always got some in place. It's a shame they don't go and grab it. You need the ox to come and grab it from here. Maybe getting in another ox is a good idea. We need to upgrade this next hitching post though as well. To have another stable. We don't quite have enough well fever. Oh, that's collected from your... That land tax is collected from your people here. That's how it converts it. Yeah, we definitely don't want to do that. Yeah. I'm not sure why that's going down. I'd like to see a graph of some kind coming in the first update to show how the regional wealth kind of fluctuates as well. Because I see it going up and down even when we're not doing upgrades. I know we've done basic ones, but got the extra chicken in. We should be okay on food. We're seeing some vegetables come in now as well. Still struggling for the firewood over here. I'm hoping we have that in soon. All right, small stable. 
Let's see where these guys are. Hopefully they're getting their molt in to uh, get to work. And there we go. The malt is in from the barley. So all we need now is some planks and they've just come in. So we want to go ahead and get our first malt brewery extension in. Boom. There it is. Brewery extension is in place. And then we just need planks for this now. So let me figure this out. So once they've done all that, that's where it's going. Sorry, I'm spending on the trading post, aren't I? So I'm importing... So I'm going to turn off trade because we're spending too much there. We don't want to do that. We're going to let it build back up again. I just want to try and get enough in to get a couple of tier threes. Don't know if that's a smart way of doing it, but we only have a couple of houses left too. So we need to factor that in. This one I'm actually going to upgrade as well when I can. So when they're green, they're happy. So at the moment we need beer and church. Beer we're working on. We're relying on you in there. So we'll go highest there. And then as soon as we get more planks in, I'm going to go ahead and get more in. So we've got some in store. Lovely. What we need, new families. Thank you. All right, 97 on the population. Hopefully a few more do join. And it is August, so we're going to need to consider what we're doing over here. So in September, we go for the harvesting. So we're going to need to turn that on as well. That should ramp up our food, which is okay, actually. We've got three in the woodcutters, three in the large store. I don't know if that's still even doing much. Reduce that down. We'll keep them in the large storehouse. All right, it's time. Boom. The church is now upgrading. Can't wait to see what that next one looks like. Oh, so good. Let's get that highest, though. This second highest. I want booze coming in first. So hopefully they go and do that. And then we should see both needs, uh, needs met. And that should help us get what we need in. So brewery should be able to grab that. So we'll have a tavern supply. Hopefully they go to market then with their batch of brew. Seeing a good amount of bread in. I think we used up the flour now. Yeah, there's no more flour. So we're going to go ahead and pause the communal oven. It does have bread in, but we're going to leave it as is for now. That should keep us okay. And that gives us a good place now to just hammer in the forager's hut most likely. We're not going to have a good source of like different foods but it's something i am very tempted to get in another plot with vegetables though so next year we have a couple more veggie gardens i'll do another one over here maybe and then we've got a nice little farm row like i said not sure what to do on this one yet church level though has already gone in so it's just the tavern supply and there we go the first batch of ale lovely All right forager's hut has actually emptied now Okay, so we got a bunch of workers back. I guess we turn this on. Get them all in there and get them to hammer out the farm. I think the only thing we didn't do so well is getting farms up a little bit quicker. So I think we need to factor that in once more. So what I'm going to do... Do I need a tavern? I do. Right, let's get the tavern in. Where do we want this thing? Oh, that could go nicely in this section here. Yeah, we're doing it. Tavern is going right there. Church first, though. Church is going in. The tier two one. Oh, it's much bigger. Come on, finish the job. You can also hear the tavern going in. All sorts of building going on. There it is. Small stone church is now in. So we should have just ale that is needed. I'm working on it, guys. I am working on it. I'm not sure what plot I want to go with for the next one. But as long as we can get a steady supply of ale going. So we got the two fields. And I'm kind of tempted to fill out more. Obviously, we didn't. We took out this one, which is rubbish for farming in all fairness. We probably should have went with one of the others that's really good, like this one. But that is okay. I think what we need to do is get some kind of other field going fallow here again. We can have that one just fallow for two years and then barley. Same with... Do we want to do you fallow again? And maybe... I don't know. I think it's important that we keep wheat coming. We are still in August. I am going to turn this on really, really soon. Probably should have paused that, but I think we're okay at the moment. They'll go ahead and do that. We've got plenty of people doing stuff anyway. I don't want to miss the uh, the boat for my harvest here. But actually, we're going to get a, a little bit. And then we need a linen shop to get that going as well. And that's a lot of the production chains actually done, isn't it? And there it is, September. 
So very intrigued us to see to see what comes in here. We still got 55 shoes in stock too. Leather's looking really good. We've got hopefully our army's filling out really nicely here. We yep, we're looking good. So we've got 40, 60, 73, 74 people that can go into our army at the moment. Very good. Okay, there's the tavern then. So we need someone to serve the beer. So one family is going to do that. Biggest issue is going to be our fuel now. So I reckon we can go back into the woodcutter's lodge. Stock damage by... Oh no. How dare you. Oh well, they're harvesting it anyway. So hopefully we do get some out of this. One wheat. Are you kidding me? I oh, know four. Okay. <laughs> we got some flax as well. Well done, guys. I think we'll do fallow again. Let's go for a fallow year, then flax. I need to put... Maybe order in a horse, then. I need to see what it's all about, don't I? So, let's order a horse. Look at our beautiful church and tavern. What a beautiful building, man. What I would give to go to, like, a full-on medieval experience for a week where everyone just chills out in, like, proper mead halls and stuff, you know? Oh... We can only dream, right? Look how gorgeous this is looking. So happy right now. Sorry, just spending un holy amount of time just grabbing screenshots <laughs> i think i've got a whole folder full now oh man right oh guys if you don't follow me on twitter please consider that as well it's a massive help i'm gonna because people who give out keys like to have a following on most things you know and here we go look we can actually go up to the tier threes here i'm scared about the residential requirements though i'm sure it's going to have another extra food and clothing to be honest with you i'm actually looking at which one is going to be used Livestock trading posts enables trading livestock with trade points in other settled regions. We will need that. Yeah, I was kind of thinking what we do with um, where you make the clothing. I can't see anywhere that does it. Not the clothing, sorry. I'm saying the wrong thing. So I know this one can do clothing. I'm on about armor outside of thingy. So if I click on one, for example, this one here can do helmets, right? After unlocking advanced armor making and master armor making, enables production of male armor and plate armor. So they probably need that one then. Um, but we need to go into basic armor making. So we need the tier 3s, which requires regional wealth. Right, the fields are done. So I'm going to get all my workers back and we are going to expand. So I think we're maxed out on our houses at the moment. If we just hold tab, we can see. Short answer is yes. The only other thing is whether we want to go into tanning some more stuff. I don't think we need to. We can mill a little bit more flour, though, for sure. So what I'm going to do is put that in and then do the pause button instead. We'll mill up a little bit of flour. And then food-wise and fuel, we need to consider. So the animals are going up, but at a really slow rate. So we definitely need that bread once it's milled. What I might do is just unpause the communal oven. And then everyone else will make sure it has other stuff. So we might need to put in bit more farming so we want some more chickens don't we which needs wealth as well so we need to save our wealth get some more chickens in i think the horse arrived not even sure if you can like assign a horse over you have to let me know on that one i think the horse is just going to sit in here for now or at a hitching post yeah so we've got a horse ah, there it is beautiful thing i love horses anyone that knows me second favorite animal dogs are first but horses are awesome they are so majestic and beautiful. He's going to hitch that up, hopefully. Taking it to the trading post. Not sure what that means for us. Do you think it's going to go into here, though, right? Don't run away. I've just bought you. Going back to rest. He is. There you go. Lovely stuff. All right, we are in September, though. We do obviously need to be wary of this fuel once more. But three in the woodcutters, three in there. I think we're going to need another bloody woodcutters. I don't think you can upgrade this. There's plenty there, though, in stock. It's just not going out quick enough. So let's get another person in the storehouse here. 
That can't be upgraded anymore either. So I think we're going to need another one logistically. So I think we'll get another one in there would have been perfect. Not quite though. We may still have to go in here then. There will do. We'll get another storehouse up and see if that helps. And yeah, all looking pretty fantastic if you ask me. I'm hoping we get that little extra so we can take over this second zone here as well. Again, let's see how the farming is on this whole zone. Uh, we've got a good bit of barley that we can do there. Sorry, that. Flax is naff, barley. What about rye? Okay, we got a good section for rye then. We also have that over here, to be fair. We should probably get in another field for that. That's actually smart. We're going to go crop rotation, and this one is going to be... Where's rye? Haven't unlocked it. Let's leave that fallow then, just doing its thing. Oh, fire broke out and a fire has ended. Did it burn the house down? Oh, no. <laughs> the blacksmith burnt down. I'm sorry. Just what we need right now, right? Oh, man, I didn't even notice. But, guys, thank you so much, as always, for joining me. Please smash the thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. We're getting mighty, mighty close to our goal. Nearly 10k as of recording, at least anyway. So thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you later. Another fire's just broken out. Oh, God.